Hey guys, it's Cliff. Uh, some people are interested in seeing what the new digital dash looks like in the Ram 1500s. So uh, I'll, I'll run through on my Rebel here real quick. I'm not a professional YouTuber, so please don't expect high quality. If you have any questions or I, I gloss over something you'd like to know more about, please just comment and let me know and I'll, I'll gladly go back into it. <clears throat> so obviously you have your gauges um, and you can change the style of the gauges. Um, you can also switch from the traditional analog to uh, more of a modern uh, bar graph tack and speedometer. In your driver info, you have your safety things, so your lane keep assist, uh, active cruise control, adaptive cruise control, those sort of things. Your vehicle info is where you have all your gauges and other such things, so obviously your fuel economy different gauges as far as coolant temp, trans temp, voltage, oil life, oil temp and pressure, your uh, air pressure in your tires, mine is too high from the dealership, stop start warning, air suspension level, and then uh, your timers. Pretty straightforward. Trip info, trip A and B, Navigation, which is really awesome. I did use this on a trip a few days ago. It's, it's really neat. The font is a bit on the small side as far as your upcoming turns and such, but I'm blind as a bat and I could still see it. So I'm sure that those of you who are not visually impaired would be all right. Uh, your off-road screen, so your uh, drive line, steering angle, pitch and roll. Right, trailer toes menu, I don't tow, so I don't know why I have it on. Audio, obviously. Uh, any stored messages, if you have any error codes, I'm assuming. All right, then your screen setup is the bottom menu. So in your screen setup, um, I think this is similar to the old seven inch display. You can choose what goes in each section. So upper right, I personally have the compass. You can switch through the different uh, different things you'd like, trip meters, trailer info, blank if you're lame. Uh, I have it set to the compass. Uh, your center, um, I'm back and forth between the Rebel badge and the time. Um, I haven't decided which one I like most. The time's probably more useful, but the Rebel badge looks cooler. And it's a, a silver outline during daytime and it's a red outline at nighttime. And then your upper left, obviously, your display style for your gauges. So um, I have it on the modern without the background. There's also the traditional. Um, and then the defaults, I set that up. Favorites menu, we'll look at that in a second. Fuel gauge, you can turn on and off the range to empty. Odometer, you can choose whether or not to show the decimal point. Current gear display. That's basically it for that. The uh, other thing that you see in a lot of the promotional materials on the navigation uh, menu buttons, I should say, if you push this middle one, it brings up the little five tiles that they hype up. You could change what all of these tiles are and you can change what they show. So like I have several of mine set up to vehicle info and you can change what vehicle info you show, all right? Um, so you can change, you know, like I have mine oil pressure and coolant temp, um, et cetera, trip meter. You could change what, you could choose what it is. If you go to the edit, I'm sorry. If you hold okay to edit, you can choose how many tiles you have and you can choose what's on each one. Again, I have multiple vehicle infos because I, like I like to really quickly be able to check on some of those gauges, you know. So, you know, like I said, you can, if you're, you can select left and right to choose one and if you click on it, it brings you straight to that page. So it's another quick way to jump around in your different menus. That's basically it. It's uh, It seems a little more daunting than it truly is when you first get in there, um, but it's very customizable and you know it's pretty intuitive in my opinion. Um, 
but yeah that's basically it everything else is just standard information um it just looks really cool because it's a digital dash again if you have any questions or i went too fast through something just let me know just give me a comment and i'll gladly respond or go look it up for you thank you guys